Now, when something or someone says that they're the best, it often comes with a debate. Is Michael Jordan the best basketball player of all time? Or is LeBron the best basketball player of all time? Is Tom Brady the best quarterback to ever play the game? Is Run Good Life the best YouTuber of all time in trading cards? All of those can be highly debatable. The one thing that there's no debate on is this is truly the best configuration of Bowman to come out every year. You get the best blend of prospects, rookies, and veterans. Such a fun set every year. It is finally here, and let's check out some Bowman's best. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. What's going on YouTube? Happy Monday everybody, RGL coming at you with a brand new video. And this is one that I am highly, highly excited about because we have 2022 Bowman's Best. It is finally here, better late than never because this product is a banger year after year after year. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, I appreciate a like on my content. I saw my buddy Hitman Rips have himself a little Julio box and I'm hoping to have the same pull a Julio. Now I did see that Leighton Sports Cards did pull the autograph Super Fractor of Julio. And it should be me! So that is a big one off the board, but there are still plenty of good hits to be found in this product. Comes in at about $300 to $325 per box. You are going to get four total autographs per master box, so two in each mini box. Uh, six packs per mini, five cards, so 60 cards total if you buy a box prospects rookies and veterans are in some interesting inserts last year they had some awesome inserts uh or this year last year they had some awesome inserts like rookie craftsmanship and the ooh, the ones that kind of look like andy warhol paintings that were pretty cool i can't remember masterpieces maybe uh they've made some interesting ones this year like prospect royalty prospective royalty and earth of fire and water what are, what are we the captain planet inserts John C. Uh, but anyways, I love this product. Uh, price point seems to be reasonable with last year. They have not made any changes there. Four autographs total. So all in all, you should theoretically get one good auto. That's typically how most boxes have been. Odds are right there. UFOs are one of the new inserts as well. Global Impact is what all those are called, I believe. So there is everything if you want to take a look. Two autographs per mini box. We've opened a ton of not just last year, but also a ton of this year. Uh, opening a couple of cases of this over the weekend. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm actually recording this before we open those cases. Uh, but this is a product that I think the value is most definitely there. Uh, if you, you know, this one's one. I will say this product is really hard to pull like a, you know, thousand plus dollar card out of. They're definitely there. They're hard. But what this product is great at, you're never going to open a box of this stuff and just totally blank out. You're always going to get somebody, some rookie or some vet insert or a prospect, somebody you like. It's just too hard. You're going to get a bunch of inserts. You're going to get a bunch of refractors. Um, and the value just quickly adds up, you know, a couple bucks here, a couple bucks there. Even when you don't have a good box, the value is definitely there. So if you're somebody who likes to sell singles, low dollar singles and stack sales or send to com C, uh, just a product that it's very easy to recoup uh, a decent amount of the value of the box back. Uh, Elijah Green right there, prospect. Josh Lowe, rookie. First auto is going to be Yazer Mercedes. That is definitely a name that I recognize. Um, maybe not one of the top rookies or top prospects in the set, but definitely one of the better ones. That's a name we hear quite a bit. Yazer Mercedes, he's got the, ooh, who had, was it, uh, who's the kid from New York that had the, it looked like, like the Pokemon, like Mamoswine or whatever, Peloswine, I can't remember who it was, was it like Denny, ooh, I can't remember, not, I can't remember, Debbie Garcia, looks like Debbie Garcia gave him some autograph lessons, Christian Vaccaro, this is one of the top chases in the set, this set does feature the rookie, or prospects from Bowman Chrome and Bowman Chrome, or Bowman Draft, so you're looking for Vaquero, Jackson Churio, uh, uh, Jackson Holiday, among others. First refractor is going to be Ricardo Cabrera. We'll keep it on rolling. Still looking for our other auto. We should get about two color per mini box as well. A variety of inserts. Uh, Jose Miranda, Salvador Perez, Javier Baez. Our first insert right here is going to be Gavin Cross. And that is on the perspective royalty. 
Gavin Cross, and an O'Neal Cruz Refractor rookie right there. That's going to be a, you know, a $3 to $5 card. You know, there will be a lot of this product open, so there will be a lot of these out there. That's still a O'Neal Cruz, one of the top rookies from 2022. That is still an O'Neal Cruz rookie refractor. So the top loads quickly add up when you rip this product. You're going to get only the best rookie. Ooh, is that a redemption? That is a redemption. Ooh. We have a Videl Brujan refractor rookie as well. Seiya Suzuki. On the back, we've got a fire. That is going to be uh, Mackenzie Gore, I believe. Yeah, Mackenzie Gore. Formerly with the Padres, now with the Nats, part of the Juan Soto trade. So that is the uh, global impact, or excellence, elements of excellence, excuse me. All the pitchers are fire. I believe all the hitters are water. So it's earth, fire, wind, and water, I believe. Just like Captain Planet. All right, we have a redemption coming up. This is a big sweat, because I do recall that the uh, Super Fractor for Julio was a redemption. Leighton pulled that one last week come on we need to see a big name okay well we're upside down you see a big name how about a julio you're we want to see a lot of text right here bowman ufo autograph i believe that's gonna be like a prospect who did i see was one like marcelo mayer maybe james triantos for the cubs that is a good prospect too bowman ufo ufo Os prospect of james triantos turn it over oh there it is right there i was like wait a minute where's a i haven't i don't think i've pulled very many redemptions like this usually you get the nice one where it's you know the tops the blue this is, these are always kind of the interesting ones like the cheap ones that they had to slide in last minute uh james triantos we'll take that that's not bad as our second auto and we'll keep it on rolling because we haven't seen any numbered color yet today uh-oh uh-oh I like this guy right here very much. Julio Rodriguez on the refractor. Probably shoot that one in my next grading submission, assuming the surface looks good. We'll take it. There's Julio number one. Hitman had, what, like three Julios? So I'm hoping we see at least another one. I think he had three in his box. Uh, purple in here. How about a purple Julio, too? Uh, Kumar Rocker. Our, we got a bonus auto in this. That's our third auto in the mini box. Danny DeAndrade. And then a purple, Ryan Mountcastle. Shout out to Vanessa, big Baltimore fan in our community. 108 of 250 on the Mountcastle. And then, yeah, we got a bonus autograph. So maybe we'll only have one in the next. I would be sad if we had one in the next mini box. Uh, Danny D'Andrade. So three autographs there uh, with the, uh, yeah, with the redemption, the bonus redemption. Hey, we'll take it. Where, where's our other auto? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Put all the autos off to the side. All right, two packs left in this mini box. And then we have a whole nother mini box to go. Just a fun rip. Just a very fun rip. Delivers every year. Design is not... I think last year's design looked a little bit better. But I'm, I, it's a good design. Prospect of the Caro. Uh, that's going to be uh, Tremar Johnson on the Prospect of Royalty. And a Vladimir Guerrero Junior Refractor. Should have one more color in here, I think. Should I have one more color? Maybe not. We have a die cut, though. Uh, Royce Lewis, Jordan Alvarez, Gabriel Reyes. Die cut is going to be Garrett Cole on the Global Impact. Cool-looking die cut. Kind of reminds me of one of the die cuts from, like, Topps Fire, which I saw that they were discontinuing in 2023, so no more Topps Fire. What, what, what? And a Christian Santana, top, one of the top prospects for the Detroit Tigers. All right, mini box number two. Still chasing a Julio auto or a Julio color would be nice to find today. But hey, like I said, we've already had three autos. And uh, this box, just a fun rip. So I would advise 300 to 325 is what you can expect to pay for this one. That's what Topps had it up for when it went on sale last Wednesday. And uh, yeah, let's see if we actually get five autographs in this box like I think we are. Uh, we've got a Lubob right there. Should we have an auto right there? Yeah, we have an auto right there and a UFO. Reed Detmers on the refractor for the Angels. Auto. Oh, I thought that was Vaquero. Anthony Gutierrez. I thought that was Christian Vaquero, one of the top prospects right there. But we will have to settle with an Anthony Gutierrez who, unfortunately, I cannot tell you too much about. Can't tell you too much about Anthony Gutierrez on the refractor auto. And then a UFO of Bryce Harper. 
Kind of reminds me of this uh, game I played on the Xbox 360, and I actually still play it to this day, called uh, Geometry Wars. If you've never checked it out, I think you can still buy it. It's a really fun game. Kind of reminds me of Geometry Wars on that insert. Uh, Brian De La Cruz, our Atomic is in here. One Atomic per box. There's a Wander Rookie. It's going to be an Atomic Elements. Uh, that is going to be, uh, who is that? Heir of Henry Davis on the Atomic. Uh, we've got Oscar Colas, top prospect for the uh, Chicago White Sox. Jose Ramirez on the Refractor. Yeah, there's the Elements right there. Air, because I think because he, he gets air behind his home runs or something like that. Yep. I don't know. The Elements won. I don't know Panini. Or I don't know Tops. I don't know. Panini would do it too. Uh, but I don't know Tops. Kind of a stretch. The Earth, the Fire, Wind, Air. It's a little, might be a little, might be a little bit of a stretch on a baseball insert. I appreciate the creative process though. Uh, Simon Juan, JD Martinez. Uh, we have a Earth that is going to be a Royce Lewis. And then a Refractor rookie of Bobby Witt Jr. So everything is just starting to add up. You know, all these refractors, a Julio refractor, a Bobby Witt rookie refractor. You're only getting the best names in the set, or you're supposed to only get the top names on the prospects, the veterans, and the rookies. So we did see a Brujan, of course, but... Oh, is that is that like an Invicta in there? Uh, Joey Votto, Nolan Arenado. Our auto is going to be Juan Bin Cho. Yeah. I think we have color behind it. We do. Juan Bin Cho is our fifth auto in the box, so we did get that bonus auto. Always good when you get a bonus and, and sometimes you open a Panini box and it's per box on average and you get shorted. So always nice to get an extra. We have Colson Montgomery, top prospect for the White Sox on the blow to 150. And uh, we still have a couple backs left. We should see one more color, I believe. I believe we should see one more color. Uh, Frankie Lindor, two packs. We get one more Julio and two packs. We'll see. How about another auto? How about six autos? I'm just getting greedy now. Uh, Colson Montgomery, Jackson Churio. That is one of the top chases for autos in this product. Bowman Masterpieces of Shohei Otani. Like that one. Uh, that is going to be uh, Brooks Lee on the prospective royalty. Mackenzie Gore on the refractor. We're down to our last pack of the day. Want to thank you for joining me. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of Bowman's Best. Are you a fan of it? Are you going to be buying it, hopping into some breaks? What do you think of Bowman's Best? Because I, I think a lot of it. Oh, we have a gold lava to end it. Perfect. Let's go to the back. Top prospect refractor of Jordan Lawler. Uh, Ricardo Cabrera. O'Neal Cruz on the rookie. We have an atomic of Simon Juan for the Mets in our final card of the day. This would be a cool, cool time to have a Julio. For Boston, uh, or for Detroit, excuse me, Miggy on the gold lava. And I will commend them. Last year was one of the first products that they added lavas to was Bowman's Best. And uh, I will commend them. This is an excellent looking parallel. So I love the gold lavas. I love the aqua lavas. And hey, just more value from this box that was, you know, didn't have a major hit. But we're going to show you everything that had some value. And it all adds up. It all adds up quite a bit. So here's just some cards that I penny sleeved that are all, you know, in that two to five dollar range, I would say. Um, Otani masterpieces, Wanda Franco rookie, Henry Davis atomic, uh, Santana refractor, Mount Castle to 250, Colas, um, maybe not so much on the those, but definitely some value here. Uh, Miguel Cabrera to 50, uh, Colson Montgomery to 150, Bobby Witt and O'Neill Cruz and Julio, three top rookie refractors. Take that. And then a UFO of one of the top prospects of Christian Vaccaro. And then we got five autographs today. We got five. Three ain't enough, man. I need five, says Big E. <laughs> Big meaty man slapping me. <laughs> That's what I want. Uh, Juan Bencho. Uh, Anthony Gutierrez on the refractor. Yazer Mercedes. We had a redemption for a UFO autograph of James Triantos. And then Danny D'Andrade. So even though we got five autographs, none of them were especially spectacular. However... Like I said, it's not a feel bad when you open a box of this stuff and you don't get a bad box or you don't get a good box because it's really, really hard to just get a bad, bad box of this product. They do exist. We did open a lot of this product last year and every once in a while you just get a box that's just a four dud autographs and your color's not spectacular and you don't get a Julio or you don't get a top rookie. They're out there, but they're few and far between. This is a product where I think even a bad box 
you walk away feeling like it was a decent rip because uh, the value in all the inserts, the color, the rookie refractors, things like that, it all adds up. That's going to do it for me today. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of Bowman's Best. Do you agree with me? Do you not like it because it's not, you know, one of the true Bowmans that doesn't have first Bowman Chrome autographs? Let me know your thoughts, and we'll catch you next time on Down the Road.